Arlene. Are you new waves? Ak. Got an express bill, 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 bill. Dun dun ma. Express radio. Hey everyone, welcome to Be The Change On Air. My name is Lily Mott and I am so excited to introduce my guest who is here in the Express Radio Station with me today. My guest today is Millie Welch and she is the president of the Cardiff University Boob Team, which is affiliated with the organization Copafiel. Copafiel is dedicated to educating, encouraging, and empowering young people to ensure breast cancer is diagnosed early and correctly. I'm so excited to talk with Millie all about the work she's doing with her society. So let's get started. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. Welcome to the show, Millie. I'm so excited to have you here. Um, So I would love to first get started by talking about Copafiel and uh, your chapter at Cardiff University. Can you tell me more about the mission of the organization and the society? So yeah, basically, Coffee is all about making sure that everyone's checking their chest regularly, getting to know their normal so that you can um, kind of catch any symptoms early, get an early diagnosis, and um, early diagnosis um, improve, like increases the chance of survival from breast cancer. So it's really, really important, especially getting the habit started early that we're talking to the um, people, students, getting the habit in early so that people can continue doing it throughout their life so yeah um I kind of started in uh Copperfield well uh Copperfield Society but we call it ourselves senior boob team mm-hmm. and um kind of started last year in my second year I was actually going in to be a president of a netball team and the president last year Madison uh she reached out to me and she was like hey can we do like a boob school in a netball <laughs> thing I was like yeah I love that because my auntie was diagnosed with breast cancer. That's mm-hmm. kind of what started my, like, I want to do something about this. And I was thinking about it anyway. And then Madison reached out. She was like, oh, we also have committee spaces. Would you like to get involved? I was like, yeah, I would love to get involved. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm president here a year later. And it's mad. It's been so much fun. But it's great. Yeah, definitely. That's that's awesome. So tell me about the people involved in your society. Are most of them, have most of them had experiences with family members or with themselves? And that's why they're involved? Yes, yeah, so we get a bit of a mix. So we have some people who've had experiences like me. But we also get uh, quite a lot of like radiography and oncology students who do this um, alongside their like work and their placements alongside their degree. Um, it's really beneficial for like their CV and stuff. And so, yeah, it's really that's And they get, they tend to go into specializing into like breast cancer, that kind of thing when they go um, when they leave. But, yeah, that's Definitely. kind of the mix that we have on committee. Yeah. Yeah. D- tell me some about the boob schools. Um, <laughs> tell me. Tell me about what it's that a bit like. of a weird name. I think a lot of people are like boob schools. What's that? <laughs> but no, boob schools, we tend to just go to societies like training sessions, meetings, like classes, whatever, whatever it is. It tends to be sports clubs. However, we've done quite a mix of it all. Um, we just go, we give them a little talk, five, 10 minute talk, and then we encourage everyone to wear pink, make it as fun as possible. I know some people have gone like full dress costume, like all in pink. Some people bring like boob decorated Mm -hmm. cupcakes and do a little cake sale. And then we encourage donations as well. They were really big in, um, October, obviously, because that's breast cancer awareness month. So that we were doing a lot of them then died down a little bit now but we still have a couple every week and it's so it's so much fun because it's nice to see societies getting involved and a a lot of them do really listen and do really appreciate us doing what we're doing so yeah it's great yeah yeah a couple every week that's that's a lot I know oh oh, we had like six on one night in (laughs) in October we were running around like mad women but no um no it's it's great fun and we love doing what we're doing yeah so yeah what does the programming look like with that? Could tell me, kind of walk me through what one of those sessions look like. So we kind of, we'd get there. We'd normally a little bit of a scramble to figure yeah. out who, who I've been talking to online. <laughs> like, oh, sorry, who's, who's the committee member here? Yeah. Um, and then we just get everyone, once everyone's there in front, just give a little talk. We'll go through the facts and figures of breast cancer, signs and symptoms, and like how to check your chest and like a boob checking guide. Um yeah, and then they normally would either get on with their session or do like a fun session, depending on what they want to do. We we kind of say tailor it to their society's needs because mm-hmm. obviously every society is different. And sometimes mm-hmm. we come to the start, sometimes we go to the end of their session. It's completely up to the society, but we just go in, pop ourselves in, make ourselves known. And then we're like, you do what you got to do. That's yeah. kind of how it works. Yeah. That's awesome. So tell me about some of the most memorable sessions that you've had <laughs> so far oh we've had some can. yeah we've had some great ones there was one uh, a couple of weeks ago I think it was Opsock Society 
And they were like full out. They bought like loads of boob cupcakes. They had like, because I thought it was just going to be the netball team, but like all of the guys shows up as well. They had glasses, all dressed up. They were really good. Um, yeah, there's just a couple that always stand out that like seem really, really keen and always push it, which is so lovely yeah. because it means so much to us is when we're going out and doing this and when people actually engage, we're like, oh my God, we're doing a good thing. Definitely, like, definitely. Um, Yeah, no, definitely some definitely some memorable ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when you put the time in, I'm sure it's so nice to be received in that way. Yeah, definitely. Excitement. Yeah, that's awesome. So tell me more about the other events that you guys do as far as fundraising or other bigger events as well uh tell me some about that for your society so we 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 do a real mix we yeah. do so last year we um we're gonna do another one this year but we did a couple netball tournaments so those are a real hit I know a lot of people love to come and um just play a bit of fun netball mm-hmm. really relaxed very competitive because the, the boys get involved and stuff and some of the girls teams like really competitive against some of the boys teams it's always fun to watch but everyone's really keen to get involved with that mm-hmm. um we did a hike to Penny Farm last year with the, the giant boobs on our back. If you haven't seen the photo, definitely look them up because they're fun. Um, we did a swim, literally last week, we did a swim club with uh, the Wet Dippers Society mm-hmm. where we went to Jackson's Bay. We did a little swim and a little boob school there and then a cake sale afterwards, which was really nice. Um, showcases as well. Mm-hmm. So we get like the musical... Uh, dance societies involved get them all together do a little performance and then they tend to give some money to us as well which is always great um so a real variety of stuff we try and conclude everyone because i think everyone everyone loves boobs so why don't we get everyone involved (laughs) Uh, and then does the fundraising go to copperfield the wider network yes so uh all of the money that is raised basically will go straight we have a just giving link and it will put straight on that go straight to copperfield so yeah 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 that's so cool so as far as their organization do they do a similar thing just in the UK on a broader scale or do they do more yeah so they have they have like boobettes Uh which is like so uni boob team is like not just for Cardiff there's loads across the whole um of the UK Mm -hmm. and then they've got boobettes which are like the people outside of uni who like do similar things go to like boob schools and stuff Uh but in like not just in unis like go to schools go to like workplaces that kind of thing and then do similar talks as to what we do yeah yeah it's so interesting when you're talking about this because I think there's still at least in the U.S. I feel like maybe there's more of a stigma around it but I just love how like you're so confident you're so (laughs) like you said you guys wore like boobs on your back to go for a hike how do you think that's developed Oh, I definitely developed for me. Like I remember being yeah. really shy when I yeah, first yeah. came in. And for me, like even last year, like my public speaking wasn't great. And now I can now you're very confidently, yeah, I'm doing this. <laughs> I would not, literally told me a year ago doing this. I'd be like, no. <laughs> um, but like it improved so much. And um, no, it's it's really great. I think you just gain a lot of confidence. And I think within the uni, um, it's a lot more accepted than it used to be. I think a lot of people used to be like the boob team. Like, what's that? Like, <laughs> It's just a funny name, but I think a lot of people respect us now and like are really keen and willing to support us because they know about us, they know what our cause is all about, and they're like, Yeah, yeah, the boobs, yeah, go yeah. on. <laughs> I love that though. I think it's a great way to get people into talking about it and to raise awareness about the issue. And I think it's so important to move away from that stigma because it is such an issue that needs yeah. to be there needs to be awareness raised exactly. about it. Exactly. Like I'm so comfortable walking around like because I've got a fleece which has the uni boob team on yeah. the back. And like walking at home or like around the streets of Cardiff when I'm not at uni, I'm like, well, sometimes I get heckled and stuff. Yeah. But like in the uni, everyone's like, oh, that's the boob lady. Yeah. She does she does there my boob go. schools. And like, it's like, wow, yeah. No, and it's it's nice to see that people like respect it and really um just appreciate us doing what we're doing, which is so nice. Yeah, and I think it's great to be known for something that is really helping people and just such an important cause. I think that's that's awesome. Yeah, no, that's, definitely. That's so cool. It's also so cool that you just started last year because I feel like you know so much and you're so animated about it. I love how passionate about it you are. It's, it's Thank amazing. You. Yeah. Uh, so tell me more about your own background and just kind of you told me the story to get involved in this um but just tell me more about were you ever interested in kind of raising awareness in this way before had you ever done anything like this before I hadn't really ever done anything like okay. this which okay. is like man I just like kind of was thrown into the world of it all and now I feel like I'm like I wouldn't say I'm a pro but I'm definitely I'm not not a novice like I was yeah, before yeah. but like definitely um just just yeah it's changed a lot it builds the confidence so much and 
no, it's yeah, it's been so nice. Ah, uh, that's that's amazing. So, what is next for the chapter? Do you guys have events coming up? Ah, uh, so yeah, we have a couple. We're co- a couple events coming up. Okay. It's going to die enough for the rest of the time. We're easing in. We got mm. our got our boob team Christmas dinner yeah. next week, which oh, will be so nice. nice. And then we got uh, we're going to the winter showcase. Mm-hmm. We're having a raffle um, there, stall and a raffle there, which will be really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got some bigger events planned next term though, so we're hoping to do. Um, a penny fan walk again because that was a success last year yeah. um, and another netball tournament because those always go down really really well with the uh-huh. sports teams so <laughs> yeah, yeah no yeah. exciting what are the best ways for societies to reach out if they want to have a boob school in their meetings so I just say just pop us a message pop us a message just go hey heard about this we'd really like to get involved but don't really know how I can like we've got we've done this so many times that we're more than happy to help him whatever way your society can benefit from our talk like if it means we come at the end or we participate or come to start like we're we're really keen on making sure it works in with your society so just pop us a message and we'll figure something out even if you don't necessarily want us to come we can give you the resources to do a social or a talk about it in your own space without us there as well Definitely. um copperfield are really great at giving us loads of resources um so yeah, we've I've got I've got everything. <laughs> <laughs> just reach out. Yeah, just reach out. <laughs> How many societies do you think you've worked with at this point? Oh, it's quite a lot. Yeah. Um, I'd say we've worked with over forty wow. since the start of the year, which is amazing. Since the start of this year. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's just like the amount of boob school. There was one uh one week we did like eighteen boob schools wow. in a week, um, which is amazing. And yeah. I feel like a lot of people get can get wrapped up in like the money side of it like mm. oh you've only raised that, that amount or like we still raised an amazing amount but even just talking to that many people like I just think if one person from that goes oh yeah I remember that talk oh I'll check my mm-hmm. chest and then they find something catch it early save a life like generally at the end of the day that's what we're all about and that's that's what we're here for that's amazing I didn't realize that's so many societies yeah it's a lot <laughs> oh my god it, we were busy bees in October for wow. sure yeah, yeah so yeah. Yeah, and I feel like October is kind of your your pinnacle, and then it'll it'll yeah. die out a oh, little we bit. Oh, we were but... very busy. Yeah. Wow, wow! I didn't realize just how many when you said <laughs> yeah. that. I was not expecting that. Um, that's that's amazing. Um, so tell me, a lot of people I think want to get involved in work like this, and they want to make a difference in their communities, but they may not know where to get started with that work. Do you have any advice for those people who may be listening? I would just say, just do it. Like I was so shy and very insular this time last year and I've gained so much confidence in it it takes a bit of time but just do your research and just do it like I ran a half marathon last year (laughs) with no training in literally the same (laughs) shoes I'm wearing now they are (laughs) dusty and rusty to to say the least and honest you can do it so yeah just go for it yeah that's why I'd say yeah and I think there's so many opportunities especially if you were in a university setting because there are so many people that want you to join yeah just reach out to those people honestly know. yeah we're all very nice people so just <laughs> yeah. just reach out definitely and speaking of reaching out what are the best ways for people to follow along with you and your work with the chapter so we have our Instagram we post most things on there so if you follow our Instagram at UBT Cardiff um that's a great way to keep up with what uh, UBT Cardiff are doing you can also follow um at Copperfield People on Instagram as well which is more which is the charity that we um are ambassadors for so it gives a more broad um sense of what everyone's doing from that charity also get, sign up for our text reminder service which text UBT Cardiff to H228 you'll get a free monthly boob pun it's really it puts a smile on my face definitely worth doing because <laughs> I talk about boobs all the time and I still forget to check my chest so it's really important that you even if you don't want to keep up to date with what the society is doing or what the um, charity is doing, just keeping up to date with checking your tests. That's that's Definitely. what's important at the end of the day. So it sends you a reminder every month? Yeah, it's wow. a text reminder. Wow. Literally, it's free, completely, uh-huh. yeah, no charge. Um, and it's it's a like little boob pun. It's always yeah. say it's not like check your chest, it's like a boob pun, which is <laughs> so funny. So funny. <laughs> always puts a smile on my face. Generally, me and my boyfriend are constantly like, oh, have you got I, got your, I got my text. I got my text. It's so great. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's oh my great. gosh. Wow, I didn't realize that. That's such a fun service. That's no, so it's cool. it is really cool. Copperfield yeah. are a really great charity, and they're they're they they spread the message in a really fun 
empowering way so yeah. yeah it's a great charity to be in Buster for yeah. I'm really proud of it yeah well you heard it here everyone you gotta tune in yeah. that's, that's awesome. <laughs> thank you everyone so much for listening if you want to talk about anything I mentioned please reach out to me by email at lily at be the change or on instagram at be the change podcast next week i'm going to be joined by sadia abu baker who is a speaker podcaster and workshop facilitator based in swansea so she's making the trip to cardiff but listen live to that interview at 5 p.m next week but until then be the change you wish to see in the world bye guys thank you so much for coming on hi thank you for having me of course of course